Got six people on. Uh, I can't tell if I got my comments open. Yeah, I got it screwed up. Somebody comment something so I can see if it's coming up. Yeah, I got you. Good job. Thank you, Michael Mitchell. I appreciate it, man. I couldn't tell. I didn't see no comments. I seen eight people on and couldn't tell if anybody was commenting or not. I'm going to paint some minnow-looking jig heads today. So we're going to do some orange and uh, chartreuse, too, I think. Everybody up today. I can't get the comments to stay up. Who all we got on? Everybody comment and let me know who's on. I'll get this thing going here in a second so I get everything straightened out. Been a while since I did YouTube Live. Too nasty out today to do any fishing. <clears throat> Had some orders I need to get caught up on. I have to watch comments on TV. Been telling a lot of jigs with my new Peak Vice. What do you think about that Peak Vice? You like it? <clears throat> I don't think I've. I don't think I've heard of anybody buy the Peak Vice and they say they didn't like it. I've got three of them. I love all three of them. I only really use two most of the time. Third one's for in case the kids are going to be helping me. Yeah, it's a smooth vice. There's no doubt about that. And for the years that I've had mine, I've had absolutely no issues whatsoever with them. I've had no issues with the peak vice. That's what we're doing today. Kind of like a kind of like a meadow looking style jig head. A little more natural bait color. how I usually do my lives. I usually do them while I'm tying over there, but I need to get it all lined back out, straightened up. Come out pretty good. Not too bad. Got a good kind of minnow look to it. Sixteenth ounce minnow heads. Here in a little bit, we're gonna tie these up. Pretty 
pretty sure that'll probably be tonight. I'll probably do it live tonight, time. All right, that's six of those, so. Do some chartreuse and uh, all my jigs are going into a toaster oven. That one right there, just a cheap $20 Walmart toaster oven. And I have been using I've been using that same toaster oven ever since I started doing this. Exact same one. Don't have to buy an expensive one for it. I promise you that. A lot of people say they have a lot of problems with them. They don't last very long, but I've gotten about six years out of that one. I've had no problems with it. But I've never used an expensive one, so who knows? An expensive one might work 10 times better. Glenn, how's it going? My oven, here's what I do. Since I'm going to tie these and I'm going to end up painting, resin coating them, um, I set mine at 250 degrees and I run it for 10 minutes until the paint, that lets the paints blend in together. Uh, when I get them over on that side, I'm going to start tying them. I'm going to UV resin coat the heads anyway. So a lot of times I don't worry too much about uh, the oven curing the paint. I'm more worried about the oven blending my paints. And when you put three colors on it, sometimes it cools down enough to where that third coat's kind of powdery looking. So the oven will actually finish that off and kind of cure them and blend them up a little bit together. So I don't worry a whole lot about my oven temperature. If you're just going to paint them, I would run it probably somewhere around 300 degrees for 15 minutes. Three, I think, I want to say ProTech recommends three, 325 or 350 for 15 minutes. Doug McGraw from Louisiana. Um, my favorite size is an eighth ounce. I'm doing 16th ounce. I got a small order going for a, a good friend of mine, and he fishes 16th ounce more than anything. So we are doing 16th ounce for him. We're going to do 18 of them. We're going to do six like a minnow style looking and uh, 12 of them uh, freestyle chick heads. And we're doing three coats. We're going to do a white base coat, and then we're going to do orange and chartreuse over top of this one. So... Now, the fishing ain't been bad. Last Friday, the fishing was awesome, really good. Monday, the fishing slowed down. I should have went yesterday. I got a guide trip coming up on Friday. Um, and right now, nothing for next week. But the wind looks like it's going to be really bad next week. But that's hard to say. Weatherman can't predict what the weather's going to do later this afternoon, more or less next week. Some huge white bass, Glenn. I mean, some big old white bass. And that's how my third coat comes out looking. The top of it don't look like it blended in good, but the oven will fi finish that up. I love doing these. I love I love putting the three colors in them. A freestyle jig head, the hatchet heads, they'll give you enough room where you can put a lot of paints on them. It's a lot easier to do a three coat paint job on a flatter style jig head for whatever reason. Kind of like you got a bigger canvas to work off of. Trying to get my boat done so I can get on the 
St. James and catch some white bass. My comments ain't staying on on the phone for whatever reason. So I got to kind of check the comments on the TV. So if you comment something I don't see it, I apologize. We'll do some lives this evening with uh, while I'm over at time. Actually, I'm just going to say I'm going to go live at 7 o'clock tonight. And we'll be tying these up. I've already got like half a dozen jig heads in there. And I'll show you some of, some of how they come out when I do three coats on them. This one's white, base, chartreuse, and purple. A friend of mine gave me a whole bunch of old, old jig heads he had. And I just painted them up for him. But I like the way that purple and chartreuse comes out. That's a cool-looking color. Yeah, let's say 7 o'clock tonight. I'll be back on live because I'm getting ready to run out of propane. I'm going to have to swap that tank over here in a little bit, but we're just going to keep on riding until I run out. There's a few links in this video that will get you, uh, show you where the powder paint comes from. Yeah, I bet it's going to be a good stock to lake color. That's where they're going to end up is being fished on Stockton, and I bet they're going to be an awesome color on Stockton. Bet they're going to be fire on Stockton Lake. I should have been out on the lake today to listen to that weatherman and Tonight, I'll use my iPad. That way, I'll be able to see all the comments. Hot pink, yellow, and red. That sounds like some pretty cool colors. Definitely a color I'd use. I like crazy colors. I can't remember what the other color was. So I'm going to do some scrolling here and checking. Man, I should have got up there and got in on some of that walleye fishing. I hate driving all the way up there, though, when you get all the way up the Truman Dam and there ain't nothing biting. That's the only bad thing about going up there. I mean, it's, it's not a horrible drive. It's an hour drive. So, it's just kind of a long haul to get all the way up there and not, you know, not catch nothing. It wouldn't be the first time I've done it. I've done it a bunch of times, drive up that way. All right. I know we wanted orange and chartreuse. Black minnow looking. Uh, I forgot what the other one was. Pumpkin seed. I forgot about pumpkin seed. Oh, that's a tough one. Pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed and chartreuse with black specks in the pumpkin seed. Hmm. That's a rough one. I've never been on Mark Twain. Never have, but I heard... Uh, I don't know why, but it, I was talking to somebody the other day, and they said um, they said the fish is getting really, really tough on Mark Twain and finding big fish. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, I was going to fish a tournament up there with the Crappie Masters, and that was that year. That was the only tournament I didn't fish. The one that was up in Mark Twain, 
That was that year gas got up to like four twenty-five a gallon here a few years back, three years back. And I didn't want to spend the money to drive all the way up there, get a hotel room and drive all the way back. But I've heard uh, a lot of people are saying Mark Twain's getting rough on finding good fish. Like I said, I don't know if that's true or not. Pumpkin seed, chartreuse. What's the closest thing I got to pumpkin seed? I'm thinking orange chartreuse with black specks. What do y'all think? Yeah, I don't hear a whole lot about Mark Twain. It's, <clears throat> but I heard, I heard a fish is about like a little Truman Lake. I've always heard that though. Kind of looks like it. I did some research on it with the maps and Google Earth and all that. And you can see those deep water holes out in the middle and the stumps and all that around the lake. It kind of looked like Truman. Crappie or dirt. Crop your own banking in my some business small lake. It was I wish they'd get on the bank here. I seen sixty I started out Monday morning, water temperature was like 58, 59. By the time I left, it was hitting 61, 62. That's the worst thing about fishing crappie spawn is um, cold fronts. Cold fronts are a spawn killer. Always a spawn killer. Uh, to me, honestly, to me, it's one of the worst times of year to fish just because of... Um, the changing in temperatures and makes it tough. You can find them one day and the next day you can't. But once you hit that, like, you get like five or six days in a row where the water temperature is going to be, or the air temperature outside is going to be 70s, 80s, and you're getting 50 degree nights, and you get that for like five days in a row, get ready because it's on. And we're, we're not far from it. We ain't far at all from it. Seen a couple, like maybe Saturday or Sunday or something like that. It's supposed to be 80. That should get them up and going. I would think. I've been wrong before, though. We're going with that for the pumpkin seed he's looking for. Chartreuse, orange, white, black, all in one. I said, I'm going to Put these in here. I'm going to let the colors blend up a little bit. And uh, we'll be back on tonight. I kind of miss doing my YouTube lives. Perched during spawn up here. I can't. I get my comments. It's driving me nuts. There we go. Harold Bolton, good afternoon, buddy. Oh, I might have just figured it out. Ah, uh, that makes it better. It's hard when you can't see the comments and you know people said something and you lose it. And it just went off again. Damn cell phone. That's all right. I only got like four more to do. And we'll probably end this one and we'll be back on tonight at 7 o'clock. I don't think anybody else is live at 7. We're going to find out. We'll do some research. I don't like cutting into other people's live times. phone don't do any justice on what a jig head looks like unless I'm using the other camera on the other side it'll get some pretty good pictures but doing it like this it don't <clears throat> it don't pick up very good at all not very good at all
we're going to bake all these for probably 10 minutes or so just to let the colors blend in. I got to run the post office and drop some stuff off. And I might go ahead and put the eyes in today and then tie them up on live tonight. I might just do a super long live tonight. Maybe. Maybe. Depends on how many people I get on. Done something pretty crazy last week. I might talk about it in my live. Or two weeks, three weeks ago. Two, two three weeks ago. Kind of got the reason why I'm down here right now this time of day doing a live. We really wouldn't call that a pumpkin seed color. I mean, it'd be an extreme pumpkin seed, but not really pumpkin seed. Not pumpkin seed like I picture. I probably should have did white, green, chartreuse, and then black specks. And then maybe not the orange. I think the green might have done better on this, but I think he's, he's still going to be happy with them. I kind of, I kind of visualize how they're going to come out. I think they'll look all right. If y'all are commenting and I'm not seeing it, I apologize. I'm not ignoring nobody. Just, I don't know how to work my phone. One more and then we're going to clean this mess up and get them curing. So anybody who wants to watch tonight at 7 o'clock, we will be live. I'll actually put a link up for it. Love to see y'all on. I like having big crowds on and get a bunch of people all talking at the same time. It makes for fun lives. Got a little more free time now, so we might be able to go back to doing that all the time. Boom, last one right there. All 14 of y'all that are on right now, if you don't mind, hit that like. That way, you need, at least YouTube knows people are watching. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Anybody that does YouTube, that's one thing that helps them out is getting those likes and follows and stuff. I hate pushing it because it feels like I'm trying to sell something. I'm not. It just kind of keeps algorithms up and going and YouTube wanting to post your stuff. If nobody likes it, YouTube don't, don't do nothing with it. Just want to thank you for all the teaching. Enjoyed it all. Well, MKR Reptiles, I appreciate you watching, man. I really do. Byron Anderson, thank you. Like I said, 7 o'clock tonight, we will come back on and we'll do a good live. Get it set up over where I can see the camera. Y'all can see the camera. And I'll be able to see what people are saying and talking about because I can't on here at all. We're going to give those jig heads about a 10, 15 minute bake. Run to the post office, take care of a few things. See what happens. One thing about powder paint, I don't know why but my white volcano's so bad and I can't keep it under control. End up with this big glob of white right here in the middle of the table. Right there. It just wants a volcano all over the spot place and don't want to cooperate for whatever reason. All right, folks, I'm on get off here like I said uh, be live tonight 7 o'clock let's do it Doug looking forward to seeing you bud y'all bring your questions whatever let's let's figure let's let's just get on tonight and talk about fishing and crappie jigs I will see you guys I forgot where the camera's at I'm gonna see you guys this, this evening thank you for watching I appreciate it